my loves, my name is Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Kayla and Amico. In today's video, y'all, I'm going to be doing period hygiene tips for the summer. Y'all, yeah! it's already hard being a woman. Then on top of that, you have your period. Then on top of that, it's summertime, it's hot outside. It's just a lot going on. So I'm here today to help you guys, give you guys some tips, some things that I've done research on. I've read some articles, I've watched other videos and things that I have as a collection to help you guys stay fresh on your period during the summer and to help lessen the pain, the cramps and the whole, the whole shabam that y'all know we gotta go through when it comes to our period. If you guys enjoy watching lifestyle videos, hair videos, all of that sort, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because that is what I do. And let's get right into the video. When you are on your period, especially in the summertime, please y'all, please make sure y'all are washing twice a day. When you go to sleep, you sleep about eight hours throughout the night, right? Your period is on, this whole time you're getting all bloody, sticky, icky, icky and then you wake up in the morning, you need to freshen up again. You need to make sure because we all know we're women, it's okay. Period blood has a smell, it can smell like metal. You're gonna be walking out the house smelling like metal if you don't take a shower. So just make sure that y'all are washing twice a day. Whenever I'm on my period, I shower before I go to bed and I shower when I wake up in the morning before I leave the house. This is just to ensure that you stay fresh because like I said, y'all know that your period can carry a scent, it can smell like metal, it can smell like fish, it can carry an odor. So this is just to ensure that you guys are staying fresh. My next tip is to make sure that you guys are carrying baby wipes and an emergency kit. So as far as wipes, wipes are just make sure that you're actually getting the blood from within you compared to tissue. It's paper. Depending on the tissue you use, it can be dry, brittle. It's not going to get all the blood from in there compared to what a wipe would do for you. And as far as an emergency kit, when I was going to school in person, which I will be going to school in person pretty soon in the fall, I always would carry an emergency kit with me. I would keep a little bag and I would keep pads in there. I would keep an extra pair of underwear in there. And what else would I keep? Oh, I will obviously put wipes in there. And I will also keep panty liners in there just to make sure, cause y'all never know Sometimes you may leak, I don't use tampons. So if you still use pads like me, it's easier for you to leak. So you may need to change your underwear. You obviously will need to change your pad throughout the day while you're at school or while wherever you're at, somebody's house, whenever you're out. And that may be a little extra to some people, but we have a period, like that's extra within itself. So it's just to ensure that you're staying fresh and that you're keeping yourself clean. Tip number three is to change your pad every three to four hours. If you use tampons, you obviously need to change those every so hours as well. Changing your pad can prevent any leaks and it can also prevent an odor buildup because if you keep the same pad on all day. Ma'am, no ma'am. No, ma'am. And especially with it being hot outside, it's summertime, you're already sweating. Let's take care of ourselves, ladies. The next tip is to make sure that you're wearing comfortable clothing. I know it's summertime, y'all, but please don't put on no little tight short dress, no little tight shorts when your period is on. You want to feel comfortable. You want to feel like you got some room to breathe and to move around. You already bleeding. You already possibly are cramping. I would suggest choosing cotton, wearing stretchy or loose clothes. And by wearing loose clothes, that can also help with any bloating or cramping that you may be having. I would recommend wearing leggings, maybe sweatshorts sundresses, anything that's not choking you and still allows you to have room to breathe and to move around. The following tip is to drink more water. It's already hot outside and you're losing blood, so you just want to make sure that you're drinking water to stay hydrated, to prevent you falling out on the flow. Drinking water can also help reduce bloating or cramping. 
and it also obviously water flushes out any waste within you as well so the next tip is about your periods when swimming i would recommend that if you want to go out for a swim and you're on your period for you to use a, a tampon or a menstrual cup because those are the most sanitary methods there's also period proof swimwear, swimsuits to look like regular bathing suits, but they come with extra protection. If I can find any swim period suits or whatever you wanna call them online through Amazon, then I will leave the link in the description box down below. The next topic is shaving. So y'all, the whole topic of shaving can be really debatable because I feel like a lot of people can be immature when it comes to this topic. For one, let's just put out there, if your hair wasn't meant to be on your body, just like the hair on your head, it would not be there. So I have seen where doctors say, even though shaving is popular now, that it's really not necessary because it can make you more prone to infections. But in my opinion, I do shave and I do feel like shaving reduces odor when it comes to your period because I hate to get all graphic or all specific, but think about it when you're on your period you're bleeding if you got hair on your cooter your coochie if you got hair on there and you're bleeding it gets stuck in it if you decide that you don't want to shave that's not something you have to do but my suggestion is to to shave to reduce hair at least trim some hair down there because it can get sticky icky icky so just of course when you're shaving make sure if you're shaving you're shaving right or that you do research before you shave to make sure you're using the best products and that you don't give yourself any razor bumps or anything like that so the next tip is to have a period tracking app or to keep track of when you're on your period personally i don't use any period tracking app but I do keep track of when I'm on my period and my notes. I write down every day that my period comes on just so I know the following month to keep in track with my cycle, know when my cycle comes on, know when I need to be prepared. I can put some good period tracking apps on the screen or in the description box down below that I know of. My next tip is to get active, y'all. But I enjoy yoga. I like taking walks. I like sometimes running. So when you're on your period, I know sometimes you in pain, you're cramping, but if you can, just be active because I feel like that can put you in a better mood when you're already on your period and you may be feeling some type of way, you may be feeling down, you may be feeling ill. I feel like that can put you in a better mood, better spirits, and it's also just in general good for your body. And my last tip is to get rest. I don't know about y'all, but when it's hot outside, it is so easy for me to feel worn down and tired quicker. And you know your period can already make you feel sleepy, tired. So just make sure that you're getting rest. Make sure you're not overexerting yourself. Make sure y'all are taking care of y'all bodies and loving yourselves. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so y'all know every time I post. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter. All of that great stuff will be at the end of this video and in the description box down below. I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next video.